Hi, this is Christine for Trinity Stamps. Today we're going to make a coffee themed card with the layered pine stencil, coffee mug card die, and the tall shaker dome. So here you can see that the tall shaker dome is actually too big, but all we're going to do is alter it and to make it fit into the coffee cup die. So here I have the coffee cup die, the whole card base, and I've cut out the insert also as well for the gift card that I'm going to put in there. This is the top layer that I've also die cut and cut in half since the die cuts out a whole car coffee cup card base. So, so I'm using some strong double-sided adhesive here uh, to attach the front of the coffee card to the card base. And I'm notorious for gluing things not perfectly, so the little trip trick that I'm showing here has um, I've seen other people do, and it's fantastic. You just sort of peel back part of the adhesive, and then you're just you line it up, and you're sure to get you know perfect placing each time. So I now am going to cut the tall dome at the base. You'll see in a moment I'm sort of cutting it. I have to cut really off camera a little bit. So you can just see, you'll just alter it to whatever you need. And here I've cut, I found that I really love when you provide some dimension to the dome by adhering these little strips. So I've cut them out of foam and I'm going to glue them with some strong adhesive to cardstock. And I'm using Gina K Connect Glue. And one thing I did, um, you can see the pre-finished card on the side there. One thing I did is, because um, it's very easy to see the white part of the foam, if you color it with a Copic marker, which I'll show later on, I forgot to do it at this point, um, it really helps make everything look cohesive. So you want to do that kind of before you glue on um, the pieces like I'm doing here. See, you can see part of the white foam. And I will do it later, but it is definitely much easier to do before you add the pieces. So here are some beautiful coffee cup sequins from Trinity Stamps. They're two colors. I've taken out the red hearts. And one thing I learned by pre-making this card is that it's easier to just I would glue the hearts onto the coffee cup, but it makes more sense to glue, put the hearts on and then put the coffee cup over it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm placing the hearts on and then the coffee cup will go over it. The hearts are a little bigger than the coffee cup, which is why I'm doing it that way. And um, they're multi-sized too, so this just provides you know, even an even look for all the coffee cups. And I apologize for you seeing my hair there. <laughs> so I'm just placing, and um, the coffee cups sequins are very thin. I'll link to all the products below so you can find them. So here's the finished version. And I love how glittery it is. And the pine, the layered pine stencil that I used to make this pine uh, was in another video, so I will link to that below as well. This sentiment was taken from Have a Nice Day. I've simply cut the stamp in half because I wanted warm wishes since it's coffee. I thought that would be cute. So don't be afraid to cut your stamps in half. It's something I kind of do as a last resort, but I do occasionally do it. So here I have 
an adorable snowflake that I die cut out of glitter paper. And the previous, the um, non-seasonal coffee cup um, die set has a coffee bean in it. That was something Trinity released in the fall. And I just thought that would look cute to have a coffee bean. So these are, these two cards are going to members of the Coffee Loving Card Makers group. Do a happy mail every month. So I am sending it to two people that love coffee. So I'm just sort of lining everything up and making sure that it fits. I really want to make sure it fits on the, cu on the cup. on the um, coffee mug rather. So I've taped it all and I put Copic marker. Um, it just creates a more cohesive look and gets a little bit rid of the white. And again, I should have done it before. That would have made it easier and a little bit cleaner. And here again, I'm just sort of trying to line everything up. It's a very thin piece, so I've glued it off camera because it is so thin and I want to make sure it's perfect. So here I'm just adding some Gina K Connect glue and gluing it on. And then I'm going to put the finishing touches. I'm going to glue the sentiment on. I love how the sentiment turned out. It's perfect. And Putting foam on all these pieces just provides extra dimension and it, it just, I think it makes such a difference. This is actually from a star from that I've cut out, die cut out twice to sort of um, make it less, to make it a star for the Christmas tree rather than a Noel star. It actually comes with the nativity set. So, and now I'm just going to glue snowflakes on. And again, all the products that I use to make these cards from Trinity, I'll link to below. So I'm adding some larger snowflakes and then I'm going to use a white gel pen to add some final touches of snow just all over the place. Just make little dots and also provide some white highlights. And this is pretty much the finished card and hopefully you like it as much as I do. Um, with all the glitter. You can, of course, use less glitter and metallics items. And so here's the finished card. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a great day.